Hello again and welcome back to video 8. Joe Barnes here and I'm going to start to talk you now through all of these settings on the left hand side um, and what each one actually means. So let's start right at the very top with your settings. This is a brand new one, okay? This is the one that's literally just come in with all the changes. Now, here's what I was talking to you about on video two or three, I think, where it's always comment and post on your page as your page, even when using Facebook as yourself, yeah? So you can now actually take that off, which means that you can post as Joe Barn. You can post as yourself, okay? Um, I like to leave that on because if I'm on my page, I want to post as my page, okay? And then you can also um, set your email notification. So if you don't want an email notification every time somebody posts or comments on your page, you can simply unclick that and boom, the, you're, you know, you're going to be, um, you won't be sent emails. Now, what you can also do is go here to view all email settings for your pages, and that's going to take you through to your main notifications page within your account settings. Okay, these are your account settings. So here, you can decide where you want your emails to go to, and you can decide what you want. And you do have to do this manually. OK, so you have to decide when you want Facebook to send you an email message, if they tag you on your profile, tags you in a post, comments you were tagged on, etc, etc, etc. And you can go down here and decide what you want to tick or untick. OK, um, so that's your that's that your settings. So then we're going to go down here to manage permissions. OK, all right. Here is where you can decide whether to publish your page or keep it a secret at the moment until you're ready. So if this is ticked, it means only admins can see this page. So if we go to view page, you can see this page has not been published. To make this page public, to make this page, put my teeth in, to make this page public, publish this page, okay? Um, so basically, all you need to do is either click that red button or you can untick it and save changes and that means that page is now public, okay, um, and that other people can see it. You can decide if you only want people in the UK to see your page or only want people in America to see your page or, you know, whatever country you're in, you can put a restriction on it. You can have an age restriction on your page, whether you want, you know, only people of 18 and over or 19 and over and you don't want any children or anything like that, okay. Then the wall tabs are what I explained to you when I took you on a tour of free fan page templates. Either everyone or only the posts that you have posted as the page admin. Yeah. So I always tend to leave it as default to everyone so that, you know, I can see everybody's posts on there. OK. Now, this is a key one. This is an absolute key one. Default landing tab. You can choose where you want people to land. Now, on this particular page, and I'm not sure how, I think I've gone into the wrong social networking academy, let me just check. I have, okay, hold on one second. I've already set one up, you see, so hold on, let me just pause this. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, that's because I have actually already created a social networking academy page, um, and, uh, and I'm just using this as an example for you. So I've gone back to the one where we've uploaded our image. So basically, as you can see, if I go down here, OK, you can have a default landing tab. Now, at the moment, because you've only just started your page, all you've got is your wall or your info. Yeah, there, that's basically your default landing tab. So if we go back to the page, then you can see down here you've got your wall or your info button. All right. Now, once you start to add pages um, like an FBML page or an iframe page, which is going to become your welcome page. Yeah. Or if you add a discussion tab or if you add notes or if you add videos, or whatever, you can decide where you want people to land on your page. OK, so you can basically come over here and as we set up new pages and we will, then you can come over here and decide which page you want them to land on. All right, so when we go and we start creating those welcome pages, we'll come back here and we will be using this function here. OK, posting ability is what other people can post on your page. So do you want your fans and people who like your page to write or post content on your wall? add photos or add videos. Now, um, there's a there are several schools of thought on this. Some um, people do not want other people posting on their page. They believe it's a, 
it would lead to just too much spam and, and issues like that, which is totally understandable. Um, and others uh, really want people posting on their page. I personally, um, I encourage people to post on my wall. I really do. I want lots of conversation um, and I want people posting on there. That's what it's about for me. It's about engagement. It's about building relationships and it's about people um, posting on my wall and telling me what they want. Yeah, it's the biggest to me, it's just the best way of engaging and talking to your customers possible. And if you take their uh, ability to write and post, you know, questions and things like that on your wall, then, you know, you're not you're not really getting they can they can comment on your posts, but you want fresh posts and questions and what do they you know, what do they want from you and things like that. I just think that's that's um, that's my personal opinion, but it's entirely up to you. These two things down here are new, so you can basically moderate um terms phrases words yeah so basically you can you can put terms on here and, and say okay if anybody starts to use this term then i want them blocked from my page yeah so that hopefully will kind of keep spam away if you can think of the kind of types of terms um that you want to use there and also profanity block list you can decide whether you want sort of medium or strong blocking on 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 sort of aggressive language yeah so Facebook will block the most commonly reported words and phrases marked as offensive by the broader community. And for this one, you can add comma separated keywords to the moderation block list. When users include blacklisted keywords in a post and or a comment on your page, the content will be automatically marked as spam. OK, that's that. And then you can permanently delete this page if you want to delete it from your manage permissions section. OK, guys. All right. So that is the your settings and manage permissions. In the next video, we're going to go through basic information, profile picture featured and admins. All right. So we're going to go through all of that in the next video. So I will see you. I think it's on video nine now.